Say it with me now. What's up, Hot Wheels and Diecast enthusiasts? It's time to bang one out. Boom! Oh, yeah. I'm at Walmart right now. Banging one out for sure. Um, but unfortunately, the main lines is busted here. Not a lot happening with Matchbox either. But there is something I do want to put on film here that's pretty, pretty dope. These things, the thing that's cool about these is they don't come sealed. You can kind of crack these things open and pull them out and check them out. Sometimes when something's sealed, I have a little bit of problem opening them up. You know how it goes. But this thing right here, I've seen all these other ones, but I have not seen this one. The 53 Mack tow truck and the 71 Chevy Vega. Look at those tampos. They look nice, man. And this thing is... Good night, give me the hot sauce. It's a bit early to be going here, but I'm going here, guys. Don't be sleeping on this, and don't trip on it either. You can think about it, but don't do it. I'm over at Target, and they got a lot of A case going on here. I have picked through a few of them. But this is what I'm going to go through right now. They just brought me out three cases to go through. And we're going to see what's good with all these guys. I am one and a half cases in. I've been through all that one. And I'm down to the second one of the next one. I still have that one to go. And look at this, guys. Right there. Ah! Damn! Get you some. Super treasure hunt right there, fellas. All right, we got some Matchbox 5 packs going on here like normal. No retro cars. Not a lot of premiums either with the Johnny Lightnings. Just a couple right here. Got the Jeep and the Studebaker. But I'm going to, okay, I'm done going through those cases down there. And I made sure I went through them pretty fast because this is the target to let me go through all 13 of those cases and then that security that plain clothes security guy came up to me and told me I wasn't supposed to do it but here's what I'm getting out of this because dude I just got back from the Hot Wheels show and I got ripped man I'm almost out of almost everything people bought a lot of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and get this one again uh, this custom 70 Honda can't go wrong with yellow or JDM People love JDM stuff. Yeah, another one of these because they are all gone now. This one does look cool even though it is a regular. No sweat. And I only had one of these and I give it to my buddy Lance. I love this car too. It's one of my running for favorite of the year. Favorite main line of the year. But yeah, I gave that to him so we'll have to find another one. And I'm a huge fan of Skylines. Some of these I really haven't put up on blast to show how nice they are. That one is really nice. And they had a yellow one earlier this year and somebody bought that. So that's going to be a little harder for me to find out in the wild. And there's the regular Bel Air. And we got this treasure hunt. The Dark Knight Batmobile. These are pretty cool. See, I don't have any more of those left. And let's have a real good look at the Super. The super treasure hunt. That thing is awesome. It's going to be hard to top this one this year as a super treasure hunt. Now, I know the people who like the imports, I like some imports too, but I think there's some nice ones coming off that. And the freaking purple Ryu van is going to be, that's coming out in the B case, that's going to be a really nice one. Got another one of these. And I obviously got another Porsche. Because, like I said, and it was a great show. Met a lot of good people. Shout out to Steve Bam, HWC Diecast 2, Onyx, Sturge, Rick, Aaron Mills, all them guys at the show, man. Had a great time, but we're going to go on and move on to the next one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Decided to stop at Walmart before I finish this hunt up, but as you can see, the Hot Wheels is. <laughs> That's Bunya. I was just out there. There ain't nam. I'm interested out there, bro. And but check these out. This is something I want. This is something that I really enjoy. These plastic colored lensed headlights and taillights. Love that feature. It's a shame that it's got that tree on there. Because even when you take it off, bro, there's two holes in there. And as good as this car is with the meat pizza, the extra meat pizza, I just can't ride it. Even if I take that tree off, I know there's going to be holes in that roof. So... Oh, check this out, guys. Whoo, this red is amazing. Look at that. Opening hood. It's like it's got opening doors. Look at that ass. And those them ain't real meaty. That's still a nice ass, bro. Don't be sleeping on this and don't trip on it. You can think about it, but don't do it. I don't know, man. I had the hardest time making that saying today. If you saw my, if you know my Instagram, I just put my bloopers on there. That took me forever, man. I'm broke today, fellas. But we got a lot of Maisto packs down here. Seen that? Got this um, Regal here, but something's messed up with it. I slid it out and looked at it. They messed up the axles on the front of that. See how far in they are? Shouldn't be like that. So that's a. <coughs> We've seen that one. Now I showed this a long time ago on my Dallas trip. This car is really nice, but those wheels, they busted, bro. Those wheels are busted. Where's the one I wanted to shoot here? Check this out, guys. International flatbed with the 89 Ford Mustang LX. That is tough. And the wheels aren't that great at all on this either, man. They need to get some better wheels on these Mustangs. But with that being said, oh, I threw it on the ground. With that being said, everybody, just be cool. Do good things for other people. I'm going to be out. Peace.